have to share something with you that I absolutely love at the holidays. It is tradition in our house. We do it every single year. And the day we decorate the house for Christmas, we make something called nuts and bolts. And it is a little like family recipe. I remember when I was little, when my mother would make nuts and bolts, when all of the family would come over for like Christmas get togethers, we had nuts and bolts. You have to make it old style. You have to cook them, you have to make the sauce, you have to tweak it exactly how your family likes it. And so I'm gonna show you how we make nuts and bolts in our house because we're decorating today and we have to have the nuts and bolts in the oven and smell them cooking while we put up the Christmas decoration. I'll show you all the actual recipe at the end of this. Brecken and I are gonna make nuts and bolts. So really, she's making, I'm commentating. I like to get one pretzel, two Cheerios, and one Chex in every bite. And everybody in our house kinda has their own way that they eat the nuts and bolts. So trying to decide exactly how much of everything to put in the nuts and bolts is tough. So we make it kind of every weekend between here and Christmas and we do it different every single time. It's the basic recipe. It's just the ratio of Cheerios to chicks to pretzels and how do you like it? We love the pretzels. So we're gonna do more pretzels than the wheat checks or the rice checks. but you can break it up however you want. If you want nuts in yours, peanuts, cashews, almonds, whatever you like, I prefer cashews and we just kind of eyeball it and dump some cashews in there. Before you do your wet ingredients, you've got your cashews, your Cheerios, your pretzels, and your mixture of pets. And you just wanna give those a good toss with your hand. Put your oil in first. Worcestershire sauce. We like it spicy in our house. Then give it a stir. and just kind of keep it moving in the cup when you sprinkle it around, otherwise the ingredients will separate. And just pour about half in, and then with your clean hands, toss the nuts and bolts. So the nuts and bolts are gonna cook for a total of an hour and a half at 240 degrees, but every 30 minutes you need to give them a toss. Oh, look who's in them. They just came out of the oven. We can, look, look. We can never wait. We'll, we'll have half of the pan eaten before they're cool. But you all should smell our house. It smells so good. Right. Even the dog is in here. He just had a bath. Maxie, are you wanting a nut and bolt? I told y'all the nuts and bolts would barely make it a day, and look at this. It's not even been 24 hours and they're gone. So, we have a live Christmas tree being delivered tonight. It's something we do every year and I absolutely love it. And so the people who um, put the lights on our tree and flock it are delivering it tonight. 
So we're gonna make our second batch of nuts and bolts already one day later. I love these things, like I cannot, seriously, can't see out of the nuts and bolts. You've got to make a batch of these. So here is the recipe. So I wanna show you all my recipe book. Look at this thing. It is duct taped together. That is how valuable my book is. In this book is the recipe for nuts and bolts. You have got to make the nuts and bolts and you will thank me, I promise. But here's the recipe. You can break up the rice checks and use wheat checks, corn checks, or rice checks, whichever ones you prefer and you can use more pretzels. So as long as you have a total of eight cups of dry ingredients, that is perfect. We also use double the hot sauce in our house. We use sriracha instead of regular hot sauce because we like it spicy. So enjoy.